Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hopkins Molded 7-Way Trailer Wire Connector. This is 11 foot long. The part number is HM20048. Here's what the harness is going to look like. As you can see, heavy duty insulated wiring there. It's going to hold the seven wires that we need to make our connections. Now, you do want to keep in mind, these are all color coded as if they could go on the trailer just as this. You took your yellow to your yellow, your green to your green. But that's not the case. You check the website. It's going to tell you what each of these wires purpose is and you want to make sure you match that to your trailer when you install it. Ultimately, we're going to have a great way to connect our trailer and run our lights through a seven pole plug. Now to do this, we want to route it to our existing trailer wiring and use connectors to match everything together. Or in, that, in this case today with our trailer, there's a junction box that's mounted. So we'll be running all of our wires in and connecting them to the appropriate ones inside of that box. To start on this particular trailer, there's a little box channel that runs down. Keeps our wire up and out of the way. Now we'll feed our wires in first. That's the end that we want to make our connection with. We'll just poke it on through there. And eventually it's going to come out right back by our junction box where we'll make our connections. We'll just pull a little bit of slack out here. And what we'll do is bring it down and turn it to where it'll run in our junction box. There's a little plug right here. We'll take that out and we can slide that in there. In our case here, we've got a little clamp. Yours may or may not have a clamp. You just have to see. All right, once we've made sure we have enough excess, let's start stripping our wires and putting our ring terminals on. Give each one of those a pull as we put them on to make sure it's got a good firm connection. All right, fantastic. Now we need to refer to the guide as we had discussed and make sure that we match these wires up appropriately. Now we'll start with our white wire here. This is going to be our ground. That's going to match up with the white there. That's ground as well. Now our red one, that's for our left turn, which coming from our trailer should be the yellow wire. Now the brown one's going to come down and we'll connect that to our green one. That's for our right turn and for our brake. Now the green wire that we have here, this gives us our tail light control. So for our trailer, that's going to go into our brown wire. Now our blue wire here, it's ha it has to stretch the farthest. It's going to come and that's going to be connected to the trailer brake power. Now in our case today our trailer brake power is a black colored wire, but it can be any different color. You'll just have to kind of follow it along and whichever one's going to come out of the, the brakes themselves, one will be ground, one will be power. Yeah, just two more connections to make here. The black wire, that's going to run to the one that we've got here that doesn't have a wire connected to it. There's not a power jack or a, a breakaway kit or anything like this on this particular trailer. So we don't have anything to power. If the customer were to add a trailer brake system where they need a breakaway switch kit or if they get a power jack to where they'll be adding uh, you know, and they will need a 12 volt power source. This will be a great connection for them to use to get that. Now the last one we got hanging out here is our yellow wire. Now the yellow wire is the auxiliary power. Uh, we're not going to be using that. So we're going to tape that off so it doesn't make any kind of ground connection. We certainly don't want to power a wire around the trailer just to have it fail. So let's tape this end off really well. 
and that'll keep it from making contact inside of that box with any of our other connectors. All right, now we'll just start tucking. In this case, our wires in our box, or you'd just be securing your wires. If you don't have a junction box, and then I'll need to tighten each of these down. But again, that might be an option for you, it might not be. All right, with everything nice and snug. Now we'll just bring it down and position it where we want it, or if you're not using a junction box, you can tidy up any of the excess that you might have, tuck it away, we'll adjust that, and put our cover on. All right, now it's tested out. Make sure everything's working as it should. We'll turn on our parking lights, and you'll want to check all your marker lights and the lights on the rear to make sure they're working. Then we'll do the right blinker, then our left blinker, and now let's check out those brakes. With everything working as it should, that's going to complete today's installation of the Hopkins Molded 7-Way Trailer Connector, part number HM20048.